Alrighty, well, hi everyone. Um, well, I'm just working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, and I came to a point in there where it's just going to be a lot easier to make a video about it than it is and have to type out this huge mile-long essay about it. So, um, you know, today there's a brand spanking new class that came out. Oh, oh let me stop, let me stop. Um, before I continue, good thing I saw that. Okay. But anyway, before I continue... Um, I'm going to have some music playing in the background. Um, I think this came out about a week ago. Uh, Windows 96, uh, Magic Peaks. This is uh, Vaporwave. Uh, it's one of my favorite genres of music. But I'm also kind of risking this uh, video being co being copyright claimed by YouTube. I don't know. I haven't played this kind of music in a very long time. So, But this is primarily meant to be uh, uploaded to Twitch anyway. So if it does get copyright claimed on YouTube... No big deal. So let me go ahead and get that going. Okay. But anyway, like I was saying, there's a brand spanking new class that came out today. Uh, called the Elementalist. Then um. Oh, where was where was it? There it is. So, like I said, it's called the Elementalist. Um, yeah, probably would be better if I just went to the actual menu. But anyway, um, ooh, extra brown, elemental. Um, and I guess there's this here as well. Deal 32 damage to an enemy. They deal 12 more damage for each status effect. Entangle Bernie Frozen Stun. And if I ever get, to, if and when I get to 250 wins and get this thing, um, and I believe it's actually a, considered a polearm weapon as well. Yep. Okay. So, but the way it's looking right now, with what I'm seeing about this class. Just this alone here. But yeah, probably the one big draw to this class is probably the uh, last one here. You stun, freeze, burn, and entangle a random enemy when matching four or more gems. Which is going to be pretty perfect for the uh, for the kind of build I got. Or my, uh, my main build here. Um, those... Not, not really into explaining how this build works, but you're going to get a fair amount of 4 and 5 matches on this one. So, that means a whole lot of status effects going out to the... A whole lot of status effects going out to the enemy, so... And then... Like I said before, with the... Uh, here, let me just scroll over here. I'm in kind of a I'm in kind of a rush too, so I mean I'm still trying to get my blog post taken care of. I'll just go ahead and equip it. Yeah, a little easier. But you stun, freeze, burn, and entangle a random enemy with magic four or more gems. But again, with the kind of build I got, a good is centered around gem creation. So, you can only imagine there's going to be a fair amount of, uh, four and five matches. So, that's a whole lot of status effects going out. And then, let me... And then, these two here, Elemental Bond and Shield, just two life and two armor for Elemental class. Nothing real special there. Um, and then the, uh... And the, uh, the the talents here, they're almost like that of the of my of my uh, main main class Titan. So uh, you got this is what I usually use here. Inflict stun when I get sc uh, skull damage, but you ain't gonna need that. You ain't gonna need that with uh with what I showed you a little bit ago. Um, you're immune to frozen. Kind of a tough call between. 
between hammer and uh, hammer and this because I use Mountain Crusher. It's a pretty valuable item. But I figured uh, it'd be better to be protected in, against Frozen, especially when I do a lot of PvP. So. And this here. This one here. If, if I ever get 250 wins on this class, this will probably be the one I go with since the uh, weapon you get after getting those wins is a polearm. And create a dust storm and start a battle. Um, so if I was to if I was to use my uh, my trident weapon, my polearm, instead of my mountain crusher, this can be a good substitute right here. Then this is another. It can kind of go either way. Um, my uh, my key team ha has this, but submerge is an ability that protects you from attacks that that target your entire group, like AOE attacks. But uh, it only lasts until you cast a spell. So, and since pretty much uh, everybody on all my teams are always casting spells anyway. This isn't that valuable. Since uh, I use the spells almost the moment they come up. So, so I, I probably find this to be more valuable. You know, you know my, main, my main tank gets a barrier which nullifies the next, next attack that gets inflicted on him. Um, this could probably go either way too. I'd probably lean towards stone mastery but like I said this is and then you got this too as well but it's gonna be a long hard roll to get this to a hundred though uh, but my Titan my Titan class my main one has this as well and if you look here when you choose the elementalist class your character becomes an elemental so everything that benefits elementals is gonna benefit this guy he's an elemental He's an elemental. Um, unfortunately, he is not, but... This guy is, but unfortunately, he what doesn't really benefit from the class because his ability is a flat number. So it's not a, it's not a variable based on his magic rating. So not really that useful. So let me uh, switch back to Titan. Kind of show you the resemblance. Almost. Yeah. You no, know, whereas if I had a uh, the forest troll I showed you is also a giant as well, so he would also start with fifty percent mana. But again, if you look at the resemblance here, I got this. I got impact. I also have elementalist. Also has this. Elementalist has this as well, and this, and this, and this. So, so yeah, I believe I have found my new class, elementalist. But. Again, it's um unless I did unless I decide to do like low level content, I probably uh, I probably won't actually use this for like the higher tier stuff that I prefer doing like PvP. So I'll probably if yeah, it probably be probably best to wait. I would probably say until I get at least level forty where I could barrier myself but yeah you're but this here it's, it's almost a it's almost a mirror image to Titan my main class so yeah this is definitely gonna be my new main one but again I got to develop this first before I actually start making consistent use of it so
But yeah, anyway, um, I wanted to show this, but I don't, I don't know how you could uh, expand the, uh, make the, make the text bigger. But yeah, this is a, this is a screen that I also discovered recently. Just going to this, you know, clicking the camera icon, I think this, I think that, yeah, it takes a screenshot. Um, but anyway, um, that's gonna conclude the video. Like I said, I just wanted to do this to, uh, spare me a whole bunch of typing on my blog, so... I'll just call it good here. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.